Hi guys, Kathy Anderson here, just walking you through on what we do when we furnish a fully furnished executive rental or Airbnb. We are here at one of our one bedroom, 500 square foot apartment buildings. We allow a maximum occupancy of two into these units. And so this is what we use to furnish a, a rental for a maximum of two people. We have a three seater sofa. We also like to supply floor lamps along with an end table, another lamp. We have a pretty decent sized coffee table. Most of them have some sort of storage. And we do like to supply area rugs um, because in these units we're all hardwood floors. The other thing we do uh, think that is important is to supply a dinette area or a workspace. And then the other thing that we think is important is a television. We've decided to go with smart TVs. This is a 42 inch smart TV. We also have a, a TV stand that's got some storage in it as well. And over by the entryway, we like to supply a um, storage area for shoes or purses or um, some place where people can throw their keys in at entry. So in a nutshell, this is what we use to furnish one of our executive rentals. We'll go over bedrooms and kitchens in another video. Thanks for watching. Okay, so now you're actually ready to start furnishing your bedroom for your furnished rental or your short-term Airbnb. In this shot, you can see majority of the items that I like to use when I'm furnishing one of our uh, executive rentals. Um, I'm sitting on what is a foldable uh, platform bed frame. I absolutely love these. Uh, they're lightweight and they're really sturdy and there's no need for a box spring. You just throw a mattress on top of here and you're good to go. In this box, um, this is a bed in a box and it is a memory foam mattress that actually inflates to full 12 inches and they're actually really, really comfortable. Uh, the other items that I like to supply are two nightstands, one on either side of the bed, and two lamps. These lamps actually have USB ports in them, which are amazing so that the guests actually have an easy access to, um, to charge their phones and their mobile devices and stuff. Otherwise, um, in a unit like this where we only have two outlets in the bedroom, they're going to dig behind the headboard, unplug the lamps, and it's kind of a pain in the butt sometimes to get things back into place. Uh, the other thing I like to put is a headboard. And then uh, the phone is actually sitting on a four drawer dresser. Uh, we have a pretty decent closet. Um, also remember to put hangers in the closet. Uh, your, your guests are gonna need something to hang their clothes on. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna remove the mattress from the box. I'm gonna show you what it looks like um, when it starts to inflate, so stand by. Okay, so now your bed is inflated and you're ready for your bedding. So I like to put on these uh, quilted, super soft, waterproof mattress pads. We actually put them on all of our beds and we wash them after every use. We also uh, sterilize and disinfect all of our mat mattresses after every guest checks out. And then you're ready for your bedding. Nice, uh, colorful comforter helps to hide any kinds of stains or anything. We also like to wash the comforters after every couple of uses um, and switch them out every so often. So um, that in a nutshell is what we do for our executive rental uh, bedrooms. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay, so one of the advantages of renting a fully furnished executive rental, rental or Airbnb is to have a kitchen. So we like to stock the kitchens pretty good just to make folks feel super comfortable while they're staying with us. This particular unit is a one bedroom, one bath with a maximum occupancy of two. So to get things started with plates and dishes and stuff, we supply four of each of the following. Four plates, four salad plates, four bowls, mugs, glasses, juice glasses, and wine glasses. A few of the other items we provide, we do provide a colander, we do provide a mixing bowl. We also like to provide some storage for um, leftovers and things of that nature. And here, 
we have our flatware. Uh, cool thing, Walmart, Target, Amazon has these kits with the trays and everything in them. They're really uh, reasonably priced. The other thing we do like to provide are cooking utensils, spatulas, uh, stirring spoons, measuring, measuring cups. So uh, they're ready to go there. Down here, we have our uh, pots and pans. We do provide a decent sized skillet. We have a big saucepan, we have a medium saucepan, a small frying pan, and a small saucepan. We do provide a toaster. And we have some serving bowls and mixing bowls with lids down here. We also like to provide bakeware. So over here, we have some cake pans. We have a muffin pan. We have a Pyrex. And we supply a cookie sheet. One of the other items we provide that a lot of other rentals don't is we like to provide a crock pot. The other thing to keep in mind to provide is uh, pot holders. And we provide at least two dish rags. The other thing to remember is to get a cutting board. Behind me, we have a 10 pot coffee maker. Down here, we do provide uh, a coffee for their stay, to start their stay anyway, and some sugar. We usually get just a medium roast coffee, and we also provide coffee filters. Over here, we have a tea kettle. And then as far as the appliances are concerned, we do have a full-size refrigerator and freezer. We have a microwave, and we have a self-cleaning four burner stove. We do not have a dishwasher, so we do provide them a drying rack with a drying rack pad. The other thing we want them to be able to do while they're here is to keep things relatively clean, especially the kitchen and dishes and stuff. So we do provide dish soap, a dish wand, a brand new sponge. We provide Clorox wipes. We also provide a brand new pack of paper towels. The other thing we do include is a trash can and we give them a small pack of uh, trash can liners. So uh, that's what we like to do to supply our furnished rental kitchens. I hope that this has been super, super helpful for you. If uh, you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you so much for watching. So this is what we like to supply for our furnished rental bathrooms. We like to provide two towel sets for each guest that's staying. We do provide shampoo, conditioner, body wash, as well as a loofah for each guest that's uh, staying. We also do like to put a candle in each bathroom and we provide antibacterial hand soap for each bathroom. We also like to provide additional toilet paper. We provide a hair dryer and we provide um, body lotion. We do also want to remember to provide a small trash can. We get a shower curtain, and a shower liner. So those are our bathroom basics. I hope this has been really super helpful for you. If you have any other questions or concerns, feel free to reach out. Thanks so much for watching. So now that we've finished going through what we provide in each room for a furnished rental, here is a look at the finished product as a whole. Here's our living room full-size sofa, coffee table, area rug, end table, you already saw the floor lamp, the workspace slash two-person dinette, the entry table, 
as well as some of the decor. Again, this is a one bedroom, 500 square foot apartment with a maximum occupancy of two. Here's our kitchen. Quick look at the supplies for our kitchen. bakeware. All right. We haven't discussed the hall closet. We do provide a few items in the hall closet. Ironing board, extra linens, extra sheets, iron, a few hangers as well as a broom a small vacuum cleaner, and a microfiber cloth mop. Here's our bathroom. We do put a little bit of decor items in the bathroom as well. And then our bedroom. So this is what completes a one bedroom, one bath, fully furnished rental for us.